Hello everyone, I am from Netzal Auto Solutions. Today through online platform, I would like to share my views on the topic, the best advanced oxidation processes. क्या आप जानते हैं ये टेक्निक्स है क्या ये टेक्निक्स वो हैं जो हम वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट्स में यूज़ करते हैं जिसके अंदर हम हम जितने भी वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक कॉन्टोमेंट्स या फिर पॉलीटेंट्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं वाटर पे उनको हम ऑक्सीडाइज करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ ओ एच नेगेटिव अगर मैं इन अलग शब्दों में बोलूँ तो उसका मतलब होता है ओ एच का मतलब होता है हाइड्रोक्साइल रेडिकल से There are many processes which are involved in the EOP. Before taking the best process in the advanced oxidation processes, I think we must look into the what are these processes are. That one of the one of the process is named as hydrogen peroxide. In this hydrogen peroxide, it cannot be used as a stand alone oxidation treatment. It is not effective as an O3 as an secondary oxidizer, but it can react with the hydrogen and oxygen contaminants compounds in a less contaminated manner than the ozone. It does not need to be manufactured on site, but it must be carefully stored because it is unstable. The hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2 must also be monitored for the residuals that remain. after the treatment because of the compound can be toxic to humans it may be needed to treat it the other processes in the aop is ozone in a alkaline solution ozone interacts with the hydrogen containing compounds and decomposes in a series of steps to reduce the oh radicals it can be used as an aop on its own but only at a higher ph levels due to the abundance of hydrogen ions present the next process is ultraviolet process because of the ability to kill and prevent the the reproduction of variety of pathogens ultraviolet light is widely used as a disinfectant and uv is not an oxidant and it of course itself because it is just a wavelength of a light but it does transfer the massless photons to a chemical compounds and breaking their bonds quickly and easily however because uv interaction is light driven some contaminants quickly and easily he get break down and however because of the uv interaction many contaminants such as suspended solids can reduce its efficiency by blocking it from the targeted compounds the next processes can be used in the form of combinations like o3 plus uv like o3 plus h2o2 h2o2 plus uv o3 plus h2o2 or AO3 plus H2O2 plus UV. With these combinations, the leverage the strengths of individual processes get improved as an overall proficiency and efficiency of an AOP process. So while considering an AOP and the usage and application of the AOP, you must think about that which process you need to be get to indulge in your AOP system. and if you are a doubt get in doubt and if you want to get more details regarding the advanced oxidation processes then feel free to contact me at solota solutions at any time we have a specialized team which will help you out in the best way our services are open for 24/7 thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel